Welcome to The Wang Review. My name is Will, where I do tech unboxing, tech reviews, and tech tutorials. And in today's episode, I'm going to do a comparison between the Anchor 30 watt fast charging charger compared to the stock Apple 5 watt charger. So when I purchased my iPhone 12 here, um, this year they decided not to include any chargers at all. But I have a few of these 5 watt stock Apple chargers laying around from my previous iPhones. In today's video, I'm going to do a comparison between the Anchor 30 watt charger versus the stock Apple 5 watt charger that came with your previous iPhones. So in today's video, I'm going to do three different tests. The first test I'm going to do is how fast does it charge my iPhone 12 Pro Max at 10% battery. So I drain my battery down to 10% and I'm going to charge, charge it using the 30 watt and 5 watt to see which one is faster and is it that much faster. I'm going to talk in 30 minutes faster, hour faster, two hours faster, so I'm going to find out for you. One of the factors that degrade battery life is heat. So the more heat it's exposed to or the more heat that it's charging, um, it can degrade battery life. And I'll leave an article below explaining the theory behind what heat does to battery life. And so what I want to know is, does a 30 watt charger produce more heat than the 5 watt charger while I'm charging my phone? And when you charge your phone, you realize when you touch the back of it, it does get warm. So I just wanted to know how hot does it actually get uh, when you use a faster charger? And is it that significant? The last test I'm going to perform is how hot do these individual chargers get while plugged in and charging an iPhone? So does the 30 watt get hotter than the five watt app stock Apple charger? Um, just, I'm just curious to know which one gets hotter. And so we're gonna test that as well. All right, so as you're watching the video and find it helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up, like the video, and consider subscribing to my channel for similar content. For both tests, I depleted the iPhone to 10% battery to test how fast it would charge to 100%. In the graph, the blue is the stock Apple 5 watt charger, and the orange is the Anchor 30 watt fast charger. The fast charger was able to charge my phone to 100% in just two hours. I was really impressed at charging it just for 30 minutes, my battery was already at 60%. So this is great if you're in a rush and you need a top up of a low battery before leaving the house. In 30 minutes where you're getting ready and you're charging at the same time, you have enough battery to last you a good part of the day. In comparison, it took 3 hours and 45 minutes to charge the battery to 100%, which is about 4 hours. And as you can see from the graph, the anchor was able to charge the phone to 100% 2 times faster than the stock Apple charger. I ran this test three times and I was consistently getting similar results of two times the difference. Next, we'll take a look at the phone temperature while it's charging. As we look at the graph, the orange bar, which is the Anchor Fast Charger, does result in the phone battery being hotter. The first hour of charging, the temperature goes as high as 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. In this footage, the phone battery is at 62%. From the thermal image, you can see the battery located on the right hand side is bright red with the temperature hovering around 40 degrees Celsius. Looking back at the graph at the Apple stock charger, the temperature is consistent and it doesn't go over around 27 degrees Celsius or 81 degrees Fahrenheit. In this footage, the phone has been charging for a while and the battery's at 37%. You can see from the thermal image, the battery location isn't red in color and remains light green. Using the Anchor Fast Charger, you can see that the internal battery is 13 degrees Celsius higher than the Apple stock charger, so that's something to keep note of. Next, we'll look at the phone charger temperature while it's charging. Looking at the graph, you can see the Apple stock 5 watt charger has a higher temperature than the Anchor Fast Charger. This result actually surprised me. I was expecting the other way around where the Anchor Fast Charger would have a higher charging temperature just because it's a fast charger. In this footage, you can see that the Anchor Charger's highest temperature was around 33 degrees Celsius or 91 degrees Fahrenheit. The two clips I show here shows one at 45 degrees Celsius, which is 113 degrees Fahrenheit, and the other one is 50 degrees Celsius, which is 122 Fahrenheit. And that to me seems really high uh, for a charger to be at that kind of temperature, and I'm not sure if that's even normal. All right, so that concludes my video on the Anchor 30 watt fast charger versus the stock Apple charger. And as you can see, um, the 30 watt significantly speeds up the time it takes to charge my iPhone 12 Pro Max. 
and um, the charger itself did not get as hot as the Apple 5 watt charger. If you're an iPhone 12 user that's still using the stock 5 watt charger that came in previous iPhones, I definitely recommend that you update to the Anchor 30 watt fast charger. Not only does it speed up the charging process, uh, but this model here has two ports, one for USB-C and one for USB type A. And this allows you to charge two devices at the same time. Um, so I would often charge my iPhone and my iPad at the same time. I'll leave a link in the description below on this Anchor charger. All right, if you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. I do get back to most comments. All right, thank you guys for watching. Until next time.